forget you, psycho. The Treatment is a new film based on the final act of a retiring and somewhat notorious director, Samson Wellstone, and the quest to bring his final script to life. So for a closer look at the movie, we're joined by filmmaker David Conroy and actors Kylie Iris and Red Carlson. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, David, great to see you. Kylie, Red, this is uh, such a labor of love, and I love the local element of this story. You work for CTV News. Yeah. Uh, you've been with the lighting department for several years now. Um, so for this film to be at film festivals and taking home awards, for example, at the Markham International Film Festival, it must mean so much to you. Yeah, absolutely. It's been uh, an absolute <laughs> thrill ride. You know, it's been amazing. And, you know, these guys brought the the story to life, and it was just amazing, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. so I want to turn to the actors now. Uh, mm. Red, let's start with you. You play the uh, notorious director. He's kind of a creepy yeah. dude, yeah. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to lie, but you play him so well. What attracted you to this character, and how did you come to work with David? What was that uh, uh, union David, like? David found me mm -hmm. uh, on one of the sites, and uh, we hit it off right away. And uh, it was just one of those things that I think... Every actor has been through mm -hmm. somebody treating them that way, whether it's a director, mm -hmm. a casting, an agent, whoever. So all the actors that watch this can relate to it. For sure. And there is also that power hierarchy, right? Right. Because the actors feel like they're kind of captive to you. Right. And there is something in the film that alludes to... I'm uh, the director. Exactly. You're the actor. Yeah, you listen to yeah. me. Uh, Kylie, this is your first lead role in a film. It is. What was it like working with Red oh, and wow. David and your other uh, co-stars in this film? It was honestly such a dream come true. Um, obviously working on set in the first time being my first lead movie role, I was so nervous, but these two made it feel so comfortable. <laughs> yeah. These two honestly feel like family members. Aww. And that's the best when you feel like you're working with your friends because it when Favorite you work like that, you just feel like you never even, it doesn't even feel like work, you know? Because we had so much fun on set. It was really natural. Stem, yeah. And stem. yeah, I'm so great to have Good such a great job, team. Dude beside me and yeah I wouldn't have changed it for the world oh that's very sweet yeah I can definitely sense you know you've got a closeness with, with your with these guys now uh, David talk about the idea behind this film because it's kind of meta when you're watching a film about people in the film industry making film I mean it's yeah. it's been done before but this one is very narrative focused dialogue heavy you obviously wrote it so what was the inspiration behind it for you well it's sort of like a nod to all my favorite film directors you know mm. sort of like who, who's made great films like Brian De Palma and Sidney Lumet and Orson Welles and all these great guys. So it was just sort of, what can I do? What can I make? And how can I make it interesting and entertaining, you know? So. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny when you wanted, you know, Kylie to do that scene from Scream. Yeah. So is that a filmmaker that you admire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it's such uh -huh. a fun script, you it know what is. I mean? And it's like... I just love that, that line, yeah. like, what's your favorite scary movie, you know? So, uh, <laughs> and, like, Michael Lake, who uh, uh -huh. is the other actor in it, he did a brilliant job of that, right. that role, so it was a yeah. lot of fun to see. I thought that was interesting yeah. to see it reimagined yeah. <laughs> through these terrified actors' eyes. Yeah. Um, and how did you, because we, a CTV did a story on you, and you talked about how your movie-making process, like, you wanted to get back into filmmaking when you saw a certain film again yeah. that reignited the fire for it, yeah. and you'd start by making shorts, and then and now you've got this full-length feature. Yeah. So how do you find the time between doing your day job and then fulfilling this passion? I mean, obviously, you're proof that it can be done. Yeah. Uh, you, I don't know. You just have to put in the effort and time. <laughs> like, uh, you know, you just say, hey, I'm going to do this. And you get people together and, you know. So, like, I started making a one-minute film, a five-minute film, 10-minute, right. 20, 40, and now a feature film, so... And was that one-minute film this film in a one-minute version? No, 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 it no. wasn't it was just like all that. different things. It was just sort okay. of, like, what ideas strike and stick with you, and then it's like, oh, yeah. So how long did the treatment take you from it inception was, to now? Well, uh, it took 10 days to shoot. Um, wow. It took probably two months to edit, and then, like, three months to sound edit, and 
you know. Coloring takes yeah. a while. It's yeah. probably about a year in total, you know. That's pretty fast though, considering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yeah. Okay, and Red, what has the reaction been to, uh, you know, you being in this role as the director in this film for the it, fans that have seen it so far? Uh, there's a few people that have come up to me and said, uh, you know, that uh, that was really tough to watch. Mm. <laughs> and when the actors, when the actors watched it, they go, uh -huh. "I've been there. I had a teacher like that. Right. I had a coach like that. I had a director like that." Mm. So uh, he's the complete opposite of the role he plays too. Yeah. He seems like it. It's kind of funny. On screen, you kind of have this maniacal smile, yeah. like kind of a Jack Nicholson, Sam Neill in lot. Event Horizon. <laughs> right. But you seem really nice in person, yeah. <laughs> or so we Don't think. Be <laughs> Okay, and Kylie, do you think you want to do more acting after, you know, having oh, been yeah. in this role? I love acting. Yeah. I could do this my whole life, for sure. I had the best time, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Uh-huh, and David, uh, you know, how did you choose the actors for this film? Well, I know that you found yeah. Red, you know, online, but the audition process, I mean, being a director, a new director, doing all this, was it difficult? Was it challenging? Uh, or? A little bit, like, you know, Kylie sent in um, a video audition, and it was, like, brilliant. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. Her for it's sure. Her, yeah. uh, Red, he's got this brilliant profile photo, and I was like, "That's the face I want." And uh, that's the face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Michael, he uh, uh -huh. he also sent in a video. Uh, yeah, he was that good was too. Brilliant too. And mm -hmm. I'd worked with him before in another short film, so. I, wow. I knew him and he's great. So. Well, I love yeah. to see, you know, Canadian and local films getting the attention that they deserve. And it shows that we are capable of doing that here in Canada. Yeah. So, Red, Kylie, David, congratulations. And we hope that this film wins more awards at various festivals. Yeah. Thanks Thank so much for joining us Thanks this morning. Thanks for having it. us. Thank you.